Team YouTuber back at it again with another video, and today we got another one. We're gonna do another try not to laugh challenge. We're gonna be featuring uh, part six of Family Guy's cutaway scenes from season nine. If you're a fan of Family Guy, you know how hilarious these moments can be. Grab you some popcorn, get comfy, and let's keep a straight face. All right, this is how it's gonna work. We'll be showing you a series of Family Guy cutaway clips. Your job is to try not to laugh. My job is to try not to laugh. If you laugh, make sure you let me know in the comment section below how many times you laughed throughout it. Remember to comment. And if you like the video at the end or throughout it, hit that like button. Let's get started. Well, let's go into Cleveland's house with someone else living there. It just seems weird. When a new pope moves into the Vatican. Hi, I don't know who to complain to about this, but I'm still getting XVIII's mail. No, he's not here anymore. This is XXIV. No, I don't need Newsweek. No, I don't need National Geographic. No, we'll, ha we'll hang on to Boy's Life. Oh. oh, I'm nauseous. I think I got altitude sickness. Hey, Brian, you want a pukesicle? I would love a pukesicle. The only souvenir I ever got was at that... That's disgusting. Place. All right, I got the guy. Stupid place still doesn't have my dry cleaning. That's not a dry cleaner. It's a dance club. It is? Well, that explains a lot. Oh. This is my jam. Working? Working? Just in that, I don't want to give it to a friend stage. Oh, God, you hear that? I sound like a Jewish c and say. The uncle says. <clears throat> the grandpa says. What? The aunt says. Thanks, Mom and Dad. You guys are the best parents ever. Would you excuse me a moment? These are mine now. Hey. Oh, honey, when we accepted those mugs, we knew this could happen. And that, that one got a little chuckle out of me. It was, it was, it was all right. Uh, I'm not gonna say it was amazing or anything, but it was all right. Got a little chuckle out of me. But how y'all doing so far? We're through the first little couple segments of it. Y'all managed to keep a straight face. I kept a pretty good straight face. Let me know in the comment section below. Before we head into the next scene, make sure you subscribe to Seeing YouTuber for more hilarious content like this. And if you have any suggestions for trying out live challenges in the future, make sure you drop them in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you guys. Alright, see if we can handle these next couple scenes. I know you're gonna have fun and make lots of friends. Fake friends, guys whose wives are friends. <laughs> you have to get me that recipe. Oh my god, the cookbook? It's right in the kitchen. Sports? No. Movies? No. Hiking? Cars? Porn? Yes! Gay porn? No. My goodness. Oh my. Tonight, I want to go out and just get wasted. And not one of these campus bars. I want to get wrecked by a townie. Helen, you're outrageous. I can't believe you're getting away with this. I've been getting away with this since I was seven. Believe me, I know what I'm doing. Oh. Good morning, girls. Helen. Good night after my favorite show. Coming up next, to catch a predator who's proud of being a predator. Good evening, sir. I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline. Do you know the boy you were coming here to meet tonight is only 13 years old? No, I drove 900 miles for a 14-year-old. That's right. I'm a horrible person. I'm only one step above those people who really like dive bars and really need you to know it. I love this place. I love dive bars. Dive bars are my favorite. They're so much better than regular bars because worse is better. I know, right? They're my favorite, too. I'm quirky like that. I've got quirky taste. I'm a quirky girl. It seems like we would be perfect for each other. Yeah, this but joke ain't hit. terrible for everyone. The joke ain't hit. It ain't hit. Challenge. It can't be any harder than folding that thousand-mile-long sheet. All right, I got my corner. Everybody ready? Ready. Chris? Ready. Meg? It's your father made this. So weird. Dad gets lost in the woods Is and that he makes a, a doll. Boo -boo doll? Yeah, it's not that strange. It's kind of what Tom Hanks did in Castaway. Oh no. I'm sorry, Wilson. <laughs> Look, there's only one way to settle this. Alright. I don't even know about that one. Hi. <laughs> right. uh, oh, well. Those were, if not tough, they were something else. But uh, did y'all manage to keep it together? Comment in the comment section below which score so far. Be honest. Um, okay, it's time for the final round. Hopefully these are some of the funnier ones, or the funniest out of part six. We'll see in a minute. Uh, brace yourselves. I'm gonna brace myself. Let's go ahead and jump in. Only the artist knows the true meaning of their art. The flowers in your paintings, what do they represent? Oh, wow, that's a really good question. Yay, the clam is saved! Yeah. Yeah. I thought he said clam for a minute. And all because I believed in myself. Pop Pop always said, Please give me rat poison. I want only to die. 
No, we did it, Papa. Yeah, that one didn't hit. It's my new meth distribution system. I trained this carrier pigeon to do oh. all my deliveries for me. Fly away, oh. Benjamin. This is the money I owe Peter. I want you to take it back to him. Do you understand? Oh, hey, Quagmire. Hey, you're not going to believe this. I'm over here with Joe, and he's got a space sailing. Oh, my God. Peter, wake up. You're having a nightmare. Lois, thank God. It was just a dream. Hey, Lois, what's that fat man doing in our bed? Damn it. I always wake up before I find out if they can understand the baby. This Nielsen <laughs> box will keep track of everything you watch, which helps us generalize <laughs> the viewing habits of millions of Americans. Is there any way you can describe that to me using colorful puppets? Bobby. The Nielsen box will monitor your viewing habits. I don't like the left puppet. His chin is scary. Oh, my God. Yeah, it looks like it's closing in fast. We're all gonna die. All right, everyone get into a hilarious pose, so when they dig out our bodies, they'll have a good laugh. <laughs> What? Hell, you should be out there arresting the real criminals. Like switchblade wielding white guys from movies and TV who don't talk like people talk. Easy, mama. Hand over that purse and everything will be real cool, you dig? That was cheeky. And hey, what do you got going on, lady? I think I might hang out in the town square. I hear an oracle from Greece is sending a funny message and I want to be there when it arrives. How about this one? This one. Penis. All right, but be patient, all right? I've got interviews and appearances all week. I mean, they're, they're squeezing every last drop they can out of me like a bottle of ketchup. Hey, Listen, you gotta get this for 15 minutes. I don't think anything's coming out. Uh, I'm fine. I can keep going. I'm just really tired. Huh. What if I stick my finger in your hole? Yeah, it only works when I'm already close. Mm. We now return to the dyslexic mm. baseball wrap up. And Whoa. the New York Yankees have eaten the Baltimore Boreals knife to foo here at Yamden Cards. The Boreals now lace a fong toad rip where they'll face the Sed Rocks, the Rebel Days, and the Jew Blaze. Thank you for turning me on to something so amazing. Hey, I'm just glad you enjoyed it. I'm sure Buzz Lightyear would have enjoyed it if you had bothered to show up. Hey, how would you like to go to my apartment and be... Hey, have you seen Dad? Yeah, he's at the dentist. He's trying to get... All right, that one was pretty good. <laughs> okay, go ahead, spit. Peter, why do you look so nervous? Yeah, I promised a kid in the hospital I'd hit a home run for him. Sorry, I struck out looking. Wait, you're not the kid, I promised. No, he died last night. A few. Wait, just what I need on my conscience. Another failed business. Hi, I'd like to rent the proposal. Hang on, let me check the return slot. I'm sorry, it hasn't been returned yet. I have a poster from the proposal you can look at. You'll get most of the story. Huh, they pretty mismatched. There you go. I'll be watching. Meet the press. It's really weird. In reverse time, the Republicans make outrageous statements, and then the host asks an unrelated question. Global warming is a myth! God created everything, and the world is getting colder! What is your tax plan? And now, our feature presentation, Adrian Brody doing sit-ups in 3D. One, two... <gasps> this one's called Camp Sit and Stay. These camps don't sound fun at all. Well, Chris, camp is only as fun as you make it. That's how it was in World War II. Oh, I suppose it would help to say I have a note from my doctor. Get in there, you. Uh, that's not funny. I don't know, you guys. It'll be as out of place there as a black guy in Sweden. Black and sipping. Yeah, black and sipping. All right, Charlie's. I'll do it. Oh. That's what it takes. I'll have sex with another man. Whoa! What? Look, Daddy. Teacher says every time a bell rings, some gay guy's gonna have sex with another gay guy. Pull you out of that school. Alright, that last one? That one got it. <laughs> Alright, man. <laughs> that's that's it, man. How did you do? Did you survive with the hell happened? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed the Try Not to Laugh Challenge, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to see me too before more hilarious content. Until next time, keep laughing. Stay awesome. See me too, bro. Peace.